about today what the Lord has to say about the book of Deuteronomy chapter 32. Before we get started into that, we'll go ahead and get started into prayer. Come Lord Jesus, we invite you into this video today to speak through me everything you want us to hear. Give us spiritual eyes to see the things you want us to see, spiritual ears to hear the words that are spoken today, a spiritual heart to be open and able to receive all that you have for us today. Give us wisdom and understanding about what we're about to read, watch, and listen to as we put on the helmet of salvation, breastplate of righteousness, belt of truth, feet of readiness, shield of faith, sword of the spirit. Guard and protect us, our vehicles, our loved ones, their vehicles, others, their vehicles, and the animals as well, as we're traveling to and from different locations today. Send down our guardian angels to protect us. We thank you for them. Give them and us the rest and restoration we both need to do the work you've called us to do. Send down the Holy Spirit to guide us into all truth today. We plead the blood of Jesus and pray Psalm 51 and 91 over us and our loved ones today. We pray that you heal our bodies, minds, and spirits, and our loved ones as well. Take away any and all distractions away from us so we can focus on you right now. If there's anyone we need to be praying for, um, speaking encouraging words to and or listening to, show us that person. We pray that you hedge and protect this video, this channel, everyone listening, our leaders, our loved ones, and the world. We pray for God's blessings over this video, this channel, everyone listening, our leaders, our loved ones, and the world. We pray for God's favor over this video, this channel, our leaders, our loved ones, us, and the world. We pray for the safety of our cities and the people in them. We pray, Lord, that you show mercy on us and heal our land. We come to you in repentance right now and ask that you forgive each and every sin that we've committed against you and or others and or ourselves, whether it be in word, thought, and or deed, as we forgive those who've sinned against us. We pray for our enemies right now and anyone listening right now that would like to accept Jesus as their Lord and Savior. We pray John 3, 16 over them. For God so loved the world that he sent his one and only begotten Son, that whosoever shall believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. So if you prayed that prayer with me today, you can know that you're going to go to heaven someday with the rest of the people that accepted Jesus as their Lord and Savior. For it's not by works so that no man shall boast. And there's not enough good works that any of us can do to earn our way to heaven. It's only through the perfect sinless life that was Jesus being born, died, buried, and rising again for our sins and the sins of the world that any of us get to go to heaven. So we thank you for this person that accepted you as their Lord and Savior. Help them in their daily walk and relationship with you to hear your still small voice and obey what you tell them to do. Show them the gifts and talents that you've given them and how to use them for your glory to help those around them that are in need. Help them to get into prayer each and every day so they can talk to you, listen to your voice, and grow in their daily walk and relationship with you. Help them to get into your word each and every day, which is the Bible and stands for basic instructions before leaving earth so they can discern between the truth and the lies and the truth will set them free. Lord, it's a God divine appointment that they're here. It's not by works that any of us are saved so that no man shall boast. And there's not enough good works that any of us can do to earn our way to heaven. It's only through that perfect sinless life that was Jesus being born, died, and buried, and rising again for our sins. Lord, we pray that everyone goes to heaven and accepts this free gift, and no one rejects this free gift and goes to hell. What a perfect time to come to the Lord this Christmas season, knowing that he came to save us all from hell. And that's the best gift that any of us could ever ask for this Christmas, knowing that Jesus was born and celebrating the truth of that and what that really means in our lives to us and our loved ones. And we thank you for that in Jesus' mighty name. And all God's people said, 
Amen. All right. Let's go ahead and get started into what the Lord has to say about the book of Genesis or Deuteronomy chapter 32. So if you have your Bibles and would like to follow along, go ahead and turn them to the book of Deuteronomy chapter 32 and we'll get started. Thank you. Give ear, O ye heavens, and I will speak. And hear, O earth, the words of my mouth. My doctrine shall drop as the rain. My speech shall distill as the dew as the small rain upon the tender herb, and as the showers upon the grass, because I will publish the name of the Lord, ascribe ye greatness unto our God. He is the rock, his work is perfect, for all his ways are judgment, a God of truth and without inequity, just and right is he. They have corrupted themselves, their spot is not the spot of his children. They are a perverse and crooked generation. Do ye thus requit the Lord, O foolish people and unwise? Is not he thy father that I hate bought thee? Hath he not made thee and established thee? Remember the days of old, consider the years of many generations. Ask thy father, and he will show thee, thy elders, and they will tell thee. When the Most High divided to the nations their inheritance, when he separated the sons of Adam, he set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. For the Lord's portion is his people. Jacob is the lot of his inheritance. He found him in a desert land and in the waste howling wilderness. He led him about. He instructed him. He kept him as the apple of his eye. As an eagle stirreth up her nest, fluttereth over her young, spreadeth the broad her wings, taketh them, beareth them on her wings. So the Lord alone did lead him. And there was no strange God with him. He made him ride on the high places of the earth, that he might eat the increase of the fields. And he made him to suck honey out of the rock, and oil out of the flinty rock, butter of keen, and milk of sheep, with fat of lambs, and rams of the breed of Bashan, and goats, with the fat of kidneys of wheat. And thou didst drink the pure blood of the grape, but Jerusalem, waxed fat and kicked thou art waxen fat thou art grown thick thou art covered with fatness then he forsook god which made him and lightly esteemed the rock of his salvation they provoked him to jealousy with strange gods with abominations of provoked they him to anger they sacrificed unto devils not to god to gods whom they knew not to new gods they came newly up whom your fathers feared not of the rock that begot thee, thou art unmindful, has forgotten God that formed thee. And when the Lord saw it, he abhorred them because of the provoking of his sons and of his daughters. And he said, I will hide my face from them. I will see what their end shall be, for they are a very froward generation, children in whom is no faith. They have moved me to jealousy with that which is not God. They have provoked me to anger with their vanities, and I will move them to jealousy with those which are not a people. I will provoke them to anger with a foolish nation. For a fire is kindled in mine anger, and shall burn unto the lowest hell, and shall consume the earth with her increase, set on fire the foundations of the mountains. I will heap mischiefs upon them. I will spend my arrows upon them. They shall be burnt with hunger and devoured with burning heat. And with bitter destruction, I will also send the teeth of beasts upon them with the poison of serpents of the dust. The sword without and terror within shall destroy both the young man and the virgin, the suckling also with the man of gray hairs. I said I would scatter them into corners. I will make the remembrance of them to cease from among men. Were it not that I fear the wrath of the enemy, lest their adversaries should behave themselves strangely, and lest they should say, Our hand is high, and the Lord hath not done all this. For they are a nation void of counsel, neither is there any understanding in them. Oh, that they were wise, that they understood this, that they would consider their latter end. How should one chase a thousand and two, put two ten thousand to flight, except their rock had sold them, and the Lord had shut them up? For their rock is not as our rock, even our enemies themselves being judges. For their vine is of the vine of Sodom, and of the fields of Gomorrah. 
Their grapes are grapes of gall, their clusters are bitter. Their wine is the poison of dragons, and the cruel venom of apps. Is not this laid upon in store with me, and sealed up among my treasures? To me belongeth vengeance and recompense, their foot shall slide in due time, for the day of their calamity is at hand. And the things that shall come upon them make haste. For the Lord shall judge his people and repent himself for his servants. When he seeth that their power is gone and there is none shut up or left. And he shall say, where are their gods? Their rock in whom they trusted. Which did eat the fat of their sacrifices and drank the wine of their drink offerings. Let them rise up and help you and be your protection. See now that I, even I, am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. For I lift up my hand to heaven and say, I live forever. For if I wet my glittering sword and my hand took hold on judgment, I will render vengeance to my enemies and will reward them that hate me. I will make mine arrows drunk with blood, and my sword shall devour flesh, and that with the blood of the slain and of the captives from the beginnings of revengeance upon the enemy. Rejoice, all ye nations, with this people, for he will avenge the blood of his servants, and will render vengeance to his adversaries, and will be merciful unto his land and to his people. And Moses came and spake all the words of this song in the ears of the people, he and Hosea, the son of Nun. And Moses made an end of speaking all these words to all Israel. And he said unto them, Set your hearts unto all the words which I testify among you this day, which ye shall command your children to observe to do all the words of this law. For it is not a vain thing for you, because it is your life. And through this thing ye shall prolong your days in the land, whether ye go over Jordan to possess it. And the Lord spoke unto Moses that selfsame day, saying, Get thee up into this mountain, Abraham. And to Mount Nebo, which is in the land of Moab, that is over against Jericho, and behold, the land of Canaan, which I give unto the children of Israel for a possession, and die in the mount whither thou goest up, and be gathered unto thy people, as Aaron and thy brother died in Mount Or, and was gathered unto his people, because ye trespassed against me among the children of Israel in the waters of Mirabah and Kadesh. In the wilderness of Zin, because ye sanctified me not in the midst of the children of Israel. Yet thou shalt see the land before thee, but thou shalt not go thither unto the land which I gave the children of Israel. And that was the end of what the Lord has to say about the book of Deuteronomy chapter 32. Hope you all enjoyed and were blessed by it. Till next time. Bye.